Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I'm the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Uh, today's webinar is part of a five-part series of webinars that we've designed specifically for new members or for people that are just getting started on BNI Connect. Uh, maybe you've been in a chapter for a long time and just never logged in. What we're going to do is we're going to take five sessions, all you know, small half hour increments to kind of go through the whole system from a, a member level perspective in order to show you what the system's all about and hopefully re relieve some of your fear and anxiety about using BNI Connect. Each of these sessions is going to be recorded so that if you'd like to share it with other people in your chapter, or if you'd like to go back and review it later, you're more than welcome to. We also do try to keep these to about a half hour. Um, that said, uh, this is what I do all day, every day. Uh, I have a, uh, I, we answer support questions about BNI Connect and help people and walk people through stuff. So I am always happy to stay on these calls until every single question has been answered. So if you'd like to stay extra after the half hour, you are more than welcome to, and I'd be happy to answer any personal questions that you might have. So, why don't we go ahead and get started with today's webinar. And by the way, uh, this is a live webinar, so if you have any questions whatsoever, do feel free to ask questions as we're going through. Um, all you have to do is type your question into the question panel. I'll see that pop up on my screen, and I'll be able to answer those as we're going through. Or as I said, I'm always happy to stay on until after and answer as many questions as you'd like to. So um, before we get started, just one last thing. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things on PowerPoint. This is not a full PowerPoint presentation. Uh, we're actually going to log into BNI Connect and go through a couple of things. But I did kind of want to give you guys an idea of the scope of BNI Connect and what it's all about. And by the way, not only am I the director of support for BNI Connect, I am also a member. I've been a member since 2002 when I first started my, uh, my business here in Rhode Island, and I'm still a member of the same chapter 15 years later. Uh, so I use BNI Connect on a daily basis, not just to help support the world with BNI Connect, but also just like you guys do as a member. So let's take a look at the, Again, I'm just going to go through these first couple of slides here to give you an idea of what BNI Connect is. And a lot of people, when you're told about BNI Connect, maybe you were envisioning like a Facebook type thing or a LinkedIn type thing, or you know. And really, BNI Connect is is just it's much more than that on on, on a much grander scale for the organization. And BNI Connect is really like three different pieces of software all rolled into one and accessible through the internet for the BNI organization. So first of all, it's, it's kind of like QuickBooks. If anybody's ever used QuickBooks to keep track of your, your finances for your business or whatever accounting software you use, this is essentially the accounting software for BNI worldwide. And we're keeping track of all the statistics and the memberships and the payments and the events and the trainings and the, you know, everything having to do with the organization. We're keeping track of that in 72 countries around the world, in a thousand different regions. 7,500 chapters just like yours are entering statistical POMS reports every single week. So when you think of the sheer amount of data that we're storing, not to mention we're we have data going back 20, 25, 30 years. That is a mountain of data. So it is a huge database. On top of that, we're kind of like a WordPress for BNI as well. Um, I do a, another webinar later in the month where I show how, the, how chapters can update their own chapter websites. And there are 6,000 chapter websites out there. Um, just to make sure... Can everybody hear me okay? I did just get a quick thing from Seth saying uh, I'm not hearing anything. Is everybody else able to hear me or have I been uh, talking to nobody the whole time? All right, so I do get something from Lori. Um, so I'm just going to respond back to Seth by typing real quick. Uh, hey, Seth, you may need to reconnect to the webinar or audio. All right, so thank you guys. Uh, I, it does look like uh, everybody else except for Seth can hear me. So Seth, uh, I did type a message to you. But anyway, 
So carrying on, we're kind of like WordPress for the organization as well. So we're pushing out all of these country sites. So anybody who's here a member in the United States, you have a profile up on www.bniamerica.com, www.bniamerica.com. And every member in the United States has a profile there. Now, on top of that, each region of BNI has their own website. So I'm, I'm a member here in Rhode Island, so BNIRI.com, BNI Rhode Island. We have a website here, too, and my profile shows up there as well. And then my chapter has a website. Now, all of these are produced by BNI Connect, and they're all pulling live information from BNI Connect as well. So when I update my profile in BNI Connect, it's updated in all of those places. I don't have to do anything extra for all this web presence out there. Now, that's two things, WordPress and QuickBooks. Now, the third thing is that we are also kind of like a private LinkedIn. So we're really able to connect with any other member in BNI around the world. That's pretty amazing. Now, I need to update this number because we now have over 210,000 members active in BNI around the world, and you have access to get in touch with any one of them. There's also discussion groups. There's over 500 discussion groups that are active. People are having conversations on a daily basis around the world, trying to pass business, build relationships, again, all over the globe. Give you an idea of the scale of BNI Connect. I mean, it, it's huge. It's one online application. It is not a website. It is a web application. And this web application consists of 950 individual web pages that make up this application. That's not even including all the, the regional websites and the country websites and the chapter websites. That's just the pages within the system. There's 950 of them. There's 120 reports in BNI Connect. And again, it's not just chapter reports, but we have the region reports, the country reports, headquarter reports. There's a ton of stuff in there. One of the things that makes progress a little bit slow at times is that every single thing that we put into BNI Connect has to be translated. So that means coordinating all of the countries that have a language other than English to every time we put in a new function, a new feature, a new, you know, just a field in a report, that has to be translated. There's over 47 individual languages and dialects in BNI Connect, is, you know, including about, I think, 12 different versions of English. There's a half a dozen different versions of Spanish and Portuguese and you know, two versions of Chinese. I mean, ju just so many translations have to happen every time we make a change. There's also a dozen programming languages used and over a million lines of code. So what makes BNI Connect such an exciting tool? Well, for me, you know, when I joined BNI 12 years ago, well, 15 years ago in 2002, the only thing I knew about BNI was my chapter. That, that was it. I went to a chapter, I joined a chapter, and, you know, hey, great, I got to network with the 20 other people that were in my chapter at that time. And that was awesome. You know, I really, really loved it. Well, about six months into my membership, I was kind of voluntold I was going to be the vice president of the chapter, which I was happy to do. What that meant, though, was that I had to go to training. So I went to the regional training, and I got to meet a whole bunch of other BNI people from my area. And that was awesome because I got to exchange business cards, and I could follow up with them. I started some great business relationships, even with people in other professions similar to mine. We found some niches. That was great. However, when I got back to my office, I realized, well, shoot, if I didn't get their business card, I have no way to get back in touch with them. I had to wait to the next training event because we didn't have a website. We didn't have a BNI, you know, directory or anything like that at that point. It was really, really hard to get back in touch with people. Fast forward a couple of years, I became a director consultant. And I went to a national training and I got to meet even more people. But again, we didn't have BNI Connect yet. It wasn't until 2012 that we could start actually utilizing this global network that we have. So I'm going to exit out of this PowerPoint now because I really want to show you like you know, what's actually happening with your profile. Now your profile in BNI Connect is available in a number of different places. So 
it's available, as I had said before, on the country websites and on the region website. So if I'm in BNI Connect, I can hit this regional websites button. This is my regional website. Here I am in, in Rhode Island. And if I go to, let's say, find a member, and I look for myself here, just Jeremy. There's a couple of Jeremys in the area. But I can find myself here, and here's here's me. And I have a you know, all my contact information. Here's my, 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 my business profile. You can even embed a video into that profile. There is you know, your TOPS profile, your ideal referral, all of that. And again, this is available here. It's available on my chapter website. It's also available on BNIAmerica.com. This is our national website. If I go to find a member here, again, I can search for myself. I bet I'm going to find a couple more Jeremy's this time. These are all the Jeremy's in the United States, and there are quite a few of them. So let me scroll down to the W's here. Oh, I think we're multiplying. Oh, let's see. Jeremy Walsh right here. So same profile is available here. Now, I'm going to log into BNI Connect. And once I log into BNI Connect, my profile is also available here as well. Now, I can search myself using this magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner and let me do a search for Jeremy Walsh so first I looked on my region website that's just the people in my area then I looked on the BNI America site that's everybody in the United States both of those are public sites that anybody can get to including Google so we're indexing that information for you and giving you a little bit of visibility here within BNI Connect I'm now searching the entire world and there's actually two Jeremy Walsh's. So if I click on my name here, again, this is my inside profile. Now the inside profile, we actually share more information with other BNI members. So we can share things like all of your phone numbers, your social media links, which is also available on the public profile, but we can also share the details of our weekly presentations, including sharing another video. Your gains profile, your tops profile, we can share you know, who you're connected with. We can share testimonials with each other within BNI Connect. There's even a little picture sharing library where you can share up to 20 photographs. People can find out what groups you're participating in and even see your training history so you can see what types of trainings you've been to. All of this will help to build credibility. So how do we update all of this information? By the way, let me just show you one last thing here. This other Jeremy Walsh is actually one of my test accounts in the system. Um, if I click on this, now my profile was pretty filled out. This is what you look like to the world if you haven't done anything at all to your profile. Now, people are using BNI Connect every day to find people to give referrals to. Yeah, all over the world, by the way, not just within your region, but let me give you a quick example. I'm, as I said, I'm here in Rhode Island. I'm a member in Rhode Island, but one of my clients here has an office in Rhode Island, a second office in Washington, D.C., and a third office in Florida. And their office in Florida, who we manage mostly remotely, their office was moving. So it, kind of funny, they were actually just moving from one side of the office complex to another. They have about five people at that location, so not, not a huge a huge move just moving you know five computers about a hundred feet away so they had an option they could you know they could fly one of my technicians down there at great expense to basically spend an hour to move five computers that would cost them you know, multiple thousands of dollars so what I did was I got on BNI Connect I did a search for IT professionals in that area of Florida I then looked at their profiles. Now, a couple of people had profiles like this. Do you think that I called them up? Well, first of all, I couldn't because they're not even sharing their phone numbers. Second of all, they don't have any credibility. You know, why would I call somebody that I can't see who they are? I can't go check out their website. I can't, you know, really, again, build that credibility that's going to lead me to referring them some business. So when I found somebody that looked pretty good, I gave them a call vetted them, and ended up passing that referral. People around the world are doing that every single day. So how do you update your profile anyway? So let me go back to my home screen here. 
click on the home button in the upper left hand corner that's going to bring me back to my BNI business. Now, this is where you do all of your, you know, you pass your referrals and one-to-ones and all of that. Make sure that you enter a CEU slip for today's session as well. But updating your profile, you can do that up here right along the top bar. It says update profile, my BNI page. All you have to do is click that and it will bring us into your profile. Alternatively, up here in the upper right-hand corner, from any other screen that you might be on, you can always get to your profile to fill it out by clicking on Options, My Account. Again, whether I go here or whether I go here, it's going to take me to the exact same place. So once I get here, very easy. It's just our information that's here and it's broken into a number of tabs. So we have the, these different sections of the profile that we need to fill out and adjust. I'm going to go through each of the tabs and kind of give you guys some little tips and tricks for the various different parts of it. But this first one is the main profile tab. The next one is your user profile. The third one is your contact details. The fourth one is your account settings. The fifth one is your bio. If you happen to be a director consultant, you also would have a director profile, so you could put director-specific contact information in, and your training history. So let's take a look through some of these and see what we can do. Now this first page, the main profile page, doesn't have a ton of information that you can directly edit. Most of this is going to be read-only. For example, your name and your company name. Um, in order to change those, you usually have to make sure that you work through your membership committee, if you're changing your company, most of that's just to ensure that the paperwork is caught up rather than just you know, changing somebody's name or changing somebody's company name in here. We have to make sure the application matches just for legal reasons. So that's why I usually have to submit a request for those. And the same thing with your industry and classification. So all that information is going to be read only. By the way, these couple of uh, fields up here, registered tax office and VAT reference number. Here in the United States, you don't have to worry about those. You can leave those blank. Um, in some countries, I think Australia, they have to put in uh, what their registered tax office is for legal purposes. And same thing in some countries in Europe, they have to put in their, you know, their value-added tax. That's what VAT stands for. Um, again, for tax liability purposes. Now, down here at the bottom, there are two fields that we need to uh, take a look at. And the first field is the My Business field. So the My Business is really, to me, when I look at the My Business, it's kind of like, you know, if, if you were at your chapter meeting, your just regular weekly chapter meeting, and you're in that first 15 minutes of the meeting, that open networking part of the meeting, and there's a visitor that comes in. You've never met this person before. You need to tell this visitor what it is that you do in a nice, short, and succinct way. You know, probably only a couple of sentences, maybe two or three sentences. That's what this My Business description is. It's kind of that elevator pitch, if you will. Keep in mind that that's essentially what people that view your profile, especially on the internet, because these results, again, are cached by Google. They're not going to sit there and read three paragraphs of a description of what you do. So you've got to make it short and sweet and to the point. Now you can also, uh, as I said, put in a video. Now I can go into detail on how to do this at the end of the webinar if anybody's interested. So if you're interested in that, just drop me a little note in the questions. And at the end, I'll circle back around and show you guys exactly how to put a video in. But really, all you need to do is to upload a video to YouTube or Vimeo or any one of those sharing sites and just grab what's called the embed code. Now you don't have to know what that is. You don't have to have to know how it works. All you have to do is copy and paste it. Again, I'll show you that uh, towards the end. Keywords, this is the second most important thing on your profile. The keywords are how people find you when, you, when they don't know your name. You know, for example, nobody's gonna look, you know, if I'm looking for somebody in Florida in order to you know, get that computer help that I needed. I don't know who they are yet. So there's no way I could just search for them by name. Now, when I do a search in the system, again, this is a giant database. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be really frank with you guys. We don't have the same budget that Google has. 
So we are still a global small business, so to speak, and you know we just don't have quite the same fancy algorithms. Now, as a database search, it means that it's a little bit more of an exacting one-to-one -one search. So if somebody was to do a search for a computer or computer services, they would find me. But if they actually did a search for computers, then it's not going to find me because that's a different word. So I, have, I need to make sure that I have supplemented various words into my keywords. The other thing that you may want to do with the keywords is, yeah, you know, I live in Rhode Island. Rhode Island is a very, very small state. It is the smallest state in the United States. That means that it takes us less than an hour to get from the northernmost part of Rhode Island to the southernmost part. A lot of us here in Rhode Island do business in the neighboring states, Massachusetts and Connecticut. So what I did was I put in the abbreviations for Massachusetts and Connecticut. So if somebody's doing a search for computer services in Massachusetts, my name will still pop up in that search. Now it's going to search against your address and your other details like your name, but you do want to supplement that with other keywords. Now if you make any changes, click the update button. Nearly everything on the profile updates immediately. So if you go and look at your profile, it will be completely updated with a new picture, new, you know, whatever it is that you've made changes. Uh, the only thing that takes 30 minutes, uh, maximum 30 minutes to update is these keywords because those are stored in a you know, special search database. Everything else will be updated immediately. So let's take a look at this next page. This is the user profile page. Um, on this one, you can... You know, if you want to change your username, you know, by default it tries to set you up with your, with your uh, email address, but if you change your email or you just want to have a different username, just click on the change username button and you can reset your username to something else. Same thing with your password, you can change your password here. Now the memorable question, that's, that's the password reset challenge question. And basically that's the question they're going to ask you if you ever need to reset your password. So put something in there that you are going to remember. And the answer, by the way, is case sensitive. So if you put in, you know, let's say, what street was I born on, make sure that you remember whether you spelled out the word street or whether you abbreviated it or whether you did it in capitals or lowercase. All right, as I said, BNI Connect is available in about 47 different languages, including a dozen or so different dialects of English, and also make sure your time zone is correct. You can also change your profile image. So there's my smiling mug there that I was uh, did a selfie from the upcoming BNI mobile app, which we're expecting you know, in the April-May time frame uh, in most English-speaking countries. But I, if I wanted to put a new picture here, I could just go in. I can delete the one I had or just go and browse for a new picture. So I can make sure I go to, let's see, go grab another picture here. There we go, there's another picture. I can crop that image if I want to. Save it. And there's the new me, new and improved. Click update and again, that will be immediately updated on my profile on all of those various places. All right, now the next tab over is the contact details. The most important thing on this entire page, right here at the top, show me on BNI Public Websites. That will control whether or not you're found on you know, BNIAmerica.com and on your regional website. If that is unchecked, you will not be found. Now, most of us, we want to be found on the public websites. However, there are some, um, there, check with your compliance department. If you happen to be a financial advisor um, or somebody in the banking industry or mortgages, they, they may have some corporate restrictions on, on your public visibility of your profile. So if that's the case, you can always uncheck this and you will be hidden from the public websites. You won't show up in the roster and you won't be searchable there. Uh, you can also choose which of your pieces of information here you want to show on the public website. You can put in, uh, I believe, up to 14 social media links here. 
and your address. So all this one is pretty self-explanatory. If you happen to be uh, a home-based business and you don't want your, your home address showing up there on the internet, just put in on, on this business address, the main address, put in something like by appointment only. Right, and that way, if somebody comes across it, they would just see by appointment. I would recommend leaving the city and the state and all of that still in there because that will also show up on your profile and be searchable. <clears throat> Let me control Z that. Uh, there we go. Make sure it doesn't uh, take my address away. All right, the next tab is really the permissions uh, for the inside of BNI Connect. What do you want to share with other people in the system? Uh, this first one is, you know, when people are looking at your profile, which of the tabs do you want to share with them? Do you want to share, for example, the bio tab? Do you want them to be able to see that immediately? So you're sharing that with everyone. You only want to show that to people once you're connected with them, or do you never, ever, ever want to show that to anybody? So you can choose for your connections, for your testimonials, your picture gallery. Uh, you can choose whether or not to show your email address only on the internal profile. We'll never show it on the public internet. And your contact details. Again, to everyone, just your connections or none. The rest of this has to do with email notifications. You can choose uh, if you become part of a group, you can choose how often you get notified. And for the other social media notifications, just these ones, there's a ton of other emails in the system, but just for these ones, do you want those to go to your regular address? Not at all. Or would you like those forwarded to a different address? You know, some people like to you know, send all this type of communication to, let's say, a Gmail address instead of their uh, corporate email servers. All right, the next tab. About two minutes left, I think, to the bottom of the hour. So the next tab is really just all of your personal information. Now, this is the tab that's going to take a little while, just a lot of typing. I mean, hopefully you know all this information about yourself, so you'll be able to, to put it in there, but it is going to take probably a, you know, a half hour or so to type all of this out. Now, that said, BNI Connect does have a half hour timeout. Actually, it's 35 minutes, so if there's no activity for 35 minutes, it will log you out of the system. And that means if you haven't saved it, you will lose everything when you come back to it. So make sure that you save, especially on this page, make sure that you're saving it frequently. You never know when you're going to take that client phone call and get distracted and you know, walk away from the computer for you know, 36 minutes. That said, again, all of this is uh, fairly straightforward. You can go through all of this uh, information and fill it out. By the way, this bio, um, you'll notice that your Secretary Treasurer will ask you for your bio before you give your first 10-minute presentation at your chapter. This is the bio that they would ask you to fill out on paper. So if you fill it out here, you only have to fill it out once. Now, the weekly presentations, those are, you know, again, there's 210,000 people in BNI. I guarantee 199,000 or probably 209,950 of them are never going to be at one of your chapter meetings. This is your chance to be able to give a presentation to anybody that comes across your profile. The gains profile, you'll learn about that in your member success program. And yes, absolutely, you, you'd want to go to a member success program as soon as possible. But the gains profile, goals, accomplishments, interests, networks, and skills, you'll learn about the gains exchange, where you should be exchanging this information with your one-to-one -one partner before you sit down for your meeting. That will help to turbocharge your one-to-one -one meetings. And finally, the TOPS profile. Now, if you have limited time, let's say you only have 10 minutes to get this done today, start with the TOPS profile. And the reason for that is that that is the profile that appears on the public internet as well. So on the regional websites, on the country websites, on the chapter websites, that's part of your public profile. So fill that one out first. When you're done, just click Update. Now, the director tab is just a way to keep your uh, director information separate. If you happen to be a director, it only appears on the contact tab of the regional website. And finally, the training history. The training history is automatically input. So if there's anything missing here, 
When you take the member success program, for example, if that's not listed here, make sure that you talk with your director consultant or your regional office and they can add that in for you. Once you're done, you can also click this profile button down at the bottom and that will take you over to the view of your profile and you can see what it looks like. All right, so we are at the bottom of the hour. So what I wanna do is, um, again, I'm gonna hang out. So if you have any questions, start typing your questions in now. I am going to stay as long as there are questions that need to be answered. The only silly question is the unasked question. But that said, uh, for anybody that does need to leave right away, thank you so much for investing some time uh, into today's webinar and learning more about BNI Connect. Again, a good referral for me is we're going to be spending the next you know, five days or so going over more in-depth details about BNI Connect. So tomorrow's webinar, uh, same time, 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, we're going to be going over the referral process. So we're going to be going over how do you input referrals, how do you input your one-to-one -one slips, and the benefits for doing so. On Thursday, we're going to go into connections. So we're going to talk about kind of the social media LinkedIn style about BNI Connect and how do I find that member? How do I find a plumber in Philadelphia or a, a taxi driver in, uh, in, in the United Kingdom? So all of that is... Um, coming up on on Thursday. Then we're going to take a couple of days off. On Monday, we're going to take a deep dive. So we're going to go and look at some of the statistical reports and some of the other tools. And finally, next Tuesday, to wrap this whole series up, we're going to talk about visitors. How can you use BNI Connect to invite and register visitors? So a good referral for me is to please refer me out, refer these webinars out to anybody that you think might be interested. I also mentioned that these are being recorded. You can find those on the support site. How do you get to the support site? Well, you get there by clicking this question mark in the upper right-hand corner. See that question mark right there? Click that. That has a ton of help articles uh, all about BNI Connect, all walkthroughs and guides and all sorts of stuff. One of those things is the Resource Center and live and recorded webinars. So you can find the upcoming webinars here as well as uh, pretty soon I'll have the February recordings up here. Um, I should have this week's recordings up uh, towards the end of the week. All right, so let's start tackling those questions. All right, I see, uh, 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 is it Neil? Um, and Mike are both interested in the video. So the video, how do we get that video into our profile? So the way we get that video into our profile is First, you just take a video. So you, you can either have it professionally done or even just kind of a selfie video of explaining your business or giving a weekly presentation or whatever else you might want to do. The important part is that you make the video. Now, after you make the video, you have to get it up onto a public sharing site. Uh, we simply can't host the videos for 210,000 members. So they have sites for that, YouTube, Vimeo, any, any of those types of things. You can create a free account on YouTube. So once you do that, you upload the photo to YouTube. Now, I happen to have a YouTube profile, youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. This is our BNI Connect Global site. This is where we put up all of our recorded webinars as well. So if you uh, want to review any of the webinars, you can go up there to get it. But let's say that I wanted to put this video in my profile. Easy enough to do. I just go to the video, and you'll see an option that says Share. It'll give you a link. You don't want this link, okay? So you don't want this one, because that's just going to put a link to the video that they would have to click on, and it would bring them out to YouTube. What you want is this second option here called Embed. And Again, you don't have to know what this code says or does. The only thing you need to do is copy and paste it. Now, one thing is, depending on the size of your video, you this is kind of big. You know, that if I put that into, into here, it's going to actually, like, stretch way over off to the side of the screen and just look kind of ugly. So I might want to make that a little smaller. So you know, just eyeballing it here. If I click on show more, I can put in a custom size. So I want it to be about two-thirds of that, let's say. 
So I'm, I'm just going to say it's going to be, I don't know, 375, right? And you'll see that the code up here, it automatically changed it for us. So again, you don't have to know any coding at all. All you have to do is go copy, control C for copy, go back to your profile, and just paste it into the My Business. You do have to have at least one word or letter in there. Um, otherwise, it's going to think that you're trying to you know, hack the system or something like that. So you have to have at least one, one phrase or letter or word or you know, check out my video, something like that, and then paste the, that iframe code in there, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So does that help, Neely and Mike? All right, so let's see. Kathy says, uh, how do we get this training into BNI Connect? So because, because we have to register with GoToWebinar, I don't have people register in BNI Connect in order to um, be able to put this on the, onto their profile. So here's what I'll do for you. Firstly, make sure that you submit a CEU slip. We're going we're gonna to talk about this more tomorrow, but go in, submit CEU and make sure you give yourself one CEU credit for today's webinar. So give yourself one credit for today's webinar. So that's the first step. That'll go into your POMS report so you get the credit for that. As far as getting that onto the training tab, what I'd like to ask is please send me an email, support at bniconnect.com, support at bniconnect.com. Not bni.com, that goes to policy questions at headquarters. Technical stuff, support at bniconnect.com. So shoot me an email, just say, hey, I was on your webinar, can you please, or let's say you do it tomorrow, I was on your webinar on such and such a day, can you please um, add the credit to my profile? One sentence, that's enough, I will take care of that for you. Deal, Kathy? All right, let's see. Fayola says, I am a new member, but I'm not able to pull up BNI to register. Uh, so, Fayola, one thing you can do is if you go to BNIConnect.com, you'll take you to the sign-in page. On this sign-in page, you'll see there's a link right down here. If you've never registered in BNI Connect, click this link to register. All you have to do is put in your email address and this CAPTCHA code to make sure you're not a robot, and it will send you a, an invitation, a link to register. As long as you have an active, active membership in the system, then it should allow you to register. Now, if it says that your email isn't registered or we can't find you, don't panic. Uh, just you know, either check in with your regional office. There sometimes is a delay in getting the registrations processed or... Again, just uh, shoot me an email, support at bniconnect.com. Let me know what region and chapter you're in, and we'll find you in the system, and we'll manually reset it for you. All right, how's that for a deal? Uh, Tiffany says, if we submit CEUs online, do we submit paper at the meetings as well? Nope, if you submit it online, you still want to announce it at your meeting, but you don't need to submit the paper as well. Uh, Mike says, uh, what if I cannot make the next webinar? Is it recorded? Yes, we absolutely record all of our webinars. Um, I can't really send them out because you know, I just can't keep track of the people that want them. But you can go to the YouTube channel or, again, just click on this question mark right here in BNI Connect. So log into BNI Connect. Click on the question mark. That question mark will – oops, I closed it. So this question mark will take you to the support center. You can either go to the BNI Resource Center, where we have a ton of material up here, and in here you'll see the BNI Connect training webinars. So I will have the February series up shortly, and I try to get them up within a couple of days of when they're done, um, depending on how busy it is answering other questions in support. But again, you can find them. All you have to do is click through. You can see them all up here. If you wanted to, you could just review the one from last month. It's very similar in content. Um, however, we do have different you know, questions, just like today. We have different questions asked on each webinar. So um, hopefully that helps, Mike. 
Uh, Mike also asks, how can we get other members to access our profiles even in our region? So really, it's it's going to be you know, partially just making making sure your, your chapter is aware of them. That's a great thing to work out with your education coordinator. So the education coordinator, your chapter can be a great resource for getting some help in sharing this information and you know, using them as a resource to teach the other members in your chapter the value of this. Um, and by all means, please share those recordings with the other people in your chapter as well. Uh, Jorge says, thank you, and you're very welcome, Jorge. Uh, Seth said, great job. Thank you so much, Seth. Um, Oralia uh, says, you mentioned the public profile. Does that mean that anyone can look me up if they know I'm a member of BNI or just by Googling me? Yes, really, it's just by Googling you. So, you know, depending on your searchability, um, I know that I can put in Jeremy Walsh BNI, and my very first thing that comes up is my profile right here. I also have, you know, podcast. So that's the second one. So there's another BNI. This is the America site. So the top three things that I just put in brought me. Now, if I don't do Jeremy Walsh BNI, I just do Jeremy Walsh. Well, still, <laughs> there's my BNI RI. There's my Facebook page. There's my LinkedIn page. So that's being helped a little bit by you know, some of the things that Google uh, track about you, but you know, essentially, you know, we rank because we have so many BNI websites out there. We we rank pretty high when we uh, when we do searches. Uh, so uh, Kurt Kurt says, uh, "New DCs should that page reflect the BNI org or the company I represent?" So Kurt, for that one. I really would like you to talk to your executive director. Um, the reason being that different regions have different ideas about what should be on that page. Now, just, just so you know, the only place that that shows up, if I go to my regional website and the contact page, your name will show up as a director consultant. And if I click on my name, this will show my BNI profile, right? So it has the BNI logo that I had on there. This is my BNI information in all of this. That is how we do it in our region. Other regions, they may have you put your business information in. Uh, again, that's really it's it is at the discretion of your executive director. So please talk with your executive director about that uh, for what they would like in there. All right, thanks, Kurt. Uh, John, John says, can I please have the BNI support email address again? Absolutely. Support at BNI Connect. Support at BNI Connect dot com. Support at BNI Connect dot com. Uh, Mike just said, this is an awesome training session series. Thank you so much, Mike. And Diane says, uh, looking forward to the next webinar. So <laughs> thank you. And again, you guys, thank you so much. I mean, I, I, again, I love answering questions. Um, mostly it's by email all day, but the fact that I can uh, be live with you guys, I appreciate you taking the time out of your businesses. And I know you're going to have 100 phone calls to return and emails and, you know, kids that might be getting home from school. So thank you. Thank you again for spending some time with me today. And I invite you to the webinar tomorrow as well. We're going to go into the whole referral process. And it would be great if you can join me. Or if there's other people that need to uh, learn more about it, a good referral for me is to pass those registration links along to some other people as well. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week. And happy connecting. <laughs>